Hey everyone, it's Friday. You know what that means. It's the end of the week. It also means December. Which means winter, at least here in the North Hemisphere. In the South, you're getting into summer. I do not envy you guys because I'm not a summer person. But that is completely irrelevant. This is how because we're doing more GeoGuessr. I want to be able to beat my scores from earlier this week. Hopefully I can do it. Let's see if we can. Challenge start. Game is starting. All right, off the bat, this could be Italy. This could be Spain. This could be. I don't know. I can't. I can't rhyme. But there's a, a street sign up there. Whoa! I took a jump a little too far. Took a jump a little too far, and now I am completely disoriented. I had so much so that I was like, I gotta start again. Go back to the beginning. Apparently I clicked on a bad spot. And it just sent the game on a loop. Gora. Eta. Or ETA. Let's get into this weird roundabout. Malta. This. Okay. This doesn't show me anything yet. They, they're saying stop. Malpartida. There's a sign. Is there anyone that's got a, a, like a decent chunk of sign? Let's go this way. Okay, here's some signs up here. This is what I was looking for. Let's let's get a baseline. This showed me fucking nothing. EX2 hunt 2003. That told me nothing. Well, that's a Mercedes. We are driving on the left side of the road. I'm going backwards. So I want to say this is Europe. This could be Italy. No, this is probably Spain. Could be Spain. I don't know. Are we about... No, they're behind me. I was like, are we about to get in an accident because everyone's driving right at us and we're just a madman and on the loose? Before I forget, I always got to make sure that I at least plunk something down. So, this could be... This can't be Italian. This Citroen is behind us. I don't know how to really pronounce that. So they have that little di that no Peugeot doesn't have the diamond. It's Citroen. Well, actually, they have the chevrons, the little angled peaks, whatever the hell they're called. Precaution. All right, I'm. Yep, yeah, I was gonna say. Now I'm gonna try to say these in Italian to see if it makes sense. Tramo de concentración de accidentes. All right, that does sound like it could be. Fin tramo de concent. Concentration of accidents. This could be Italy, like northern Italy. Hmm. I wish I could. It sounds dumb. I feel like I should be able to actually delineate between Italian and Spanish enough to know that, okay, this is, uh, that's just an arrow pointing the other way. Yeah. That this is Italian and not Spanish, but silly me. I can't. Or I'm not confident enough, but this is. Foggy, rainy, cold. This very well could be northern Spain. Or this could be pretty much anywhere in Italy. I haven't seen anything to the contrary. This looks like a town we're getting to. Can we get there in 40 seconds? I feel like maybe I'm uh, blitzing past some potentially good road signs but I'm not all right I have 30 seconds I have to oh oh last Carmeletas ex 200 2003 are these e e e e I haven't seen an ex I'm gonna put you here for now no oh, okay. is Italy have ex E35, E42. I'm not going to... Oh, let's just make a guess. Alright. I should know that. I, I've seen... Placent... Pla Actually, I don't even know if I did see this anywhere. I think I did. At least I'm in the country. I'm happy with that. I'll give myself four stars. Be more confident in my original guess is what I got to tell myself. Is this Australia? Is this... Australia. 
give me deal for traffic for here on bridge. They got the bumps in the road, those cool little things that I like driving over that go <laughs> to wake your ass up. Speed limit 25. This is America. Which makes me feel like a nut. And sometimes it doesn't. Hereford Bridge Trailhead. Is this in the southwest? I don't know. Let's keep driving. Hopefully see some signage to let me know that when it snows. U.S. Postal Service, that is the sign for it. We're in south. Souther. Uh, we'll put you here. Probably California. We're in the southern, western American statens. Oop, what is this? Is that the UV index? Anthony Sizer, a principled conservative. Re-elect Pat Call. I don't know who Pat Call is. Do we call Pat? Be extra careful with fire. So they have forest fires here as an issue, and that does happen in... That looks real cool. It's raining like hell over there right now. That looks really cool. So, forest fires are an issue here, which they have a lot of forest fires in California. In fact, they had some real bad ones this year. So, I want to say this is California. Let's... We're in an election season of some sort. That is a real estate sign. Is that a dinosaur? Is that a Roadrunner or an Apteryctrix? I want to. I want to give a little word of advice for anybody who actually invents, like invents, finds yeah. <laughs> finds dinosaurs. If you're gonna name them, don't call them Apteryctrix with A P Y T R's and X's and whatevers. You want to be able to say it. I don't care how let the the word makes sense in Latin because it's paired a bunch of different Latin words together. Now you got to make it easier to say. There are no other English words in the English language with so many X's and Y's with A's and whatnot. I mean, if you needed to make it make sense in Latin, make that like uh, just translate it to English. Like uh, okay, apter means feathers. Repterix means big toothy beak. Flappy machine. Just call it Feathers McWing Beak. I don't know. It's it's a dinosaur. Kids are into dinosaurs. Give them cool dinosaur names. That is one hell of a cow. Like I had a hard enough time saying Ankylosaurus when I was a kid, but I, I can't make that argument because I still kind of to this day have a hard time saying caterpillar. I would say caterpitter. That's adorable when you're a kid, but that's Palma. Palomino's... Okay, Palomino. That is... Outside of... San Francisco. Um... I'll put you there. Actually, no, it's... Um... I'll put you there. Palomino. God... Damn it! I was closer... Uh, for some reason I thought the only Palomino I could think of was the one in California. And it made way more sense that I talked myself out of it at the last second. Hey, there's Bisbee. If you want to go hang out and have a good time, go see uh, Doug Stanhope. He lives in Bisbee. God damn it, Hereford. It was there. It was there. Three stars. I'm not. I'm not starting strong here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I was like, well, it's been a while. Since I could be angry about Russian guesses. But here we are in a... Are we going inside a salon? I think we're going inside. I don't think Google Maps are supposed to be Google buildings. We're having a hard time... Uh, Registering. Yeah, it's definitely Russia. This is a bike bar. 
This place looks cool. Zuzin da Aryu. It's like a bar with... This place looks cool. I don't know why Google feels the need to go inside a uh, bike bar of some sort. Is this like a piano with an owl over the top of it? This is cool. I like... We're, we're literally just walking our way through someone's apartment. I mean, what are we doing in here? This guy likes... He's got a couple of Xbox controllers for... Well, there's the 360. Where's the TV? Oh, it's a projector. That's why. I want to know... Again, I, I mentioned this, I think, back on Monday. Like on that other Russian one. We're like, yep, yeah, we're just, we're just here. We can't go anywhere else. We had to walk around a bike bar. It's like, all right, your job is to look at this part of Russia. So the guy put his backpack on and said, I'm just going to walk to my cool, my favorite little bar. And he just walked around this bar with some bikes in it that has a huge ass projector on it and said, there, I just, uh, I just, uh, did my city. And another thing to think about, too, is you walk by here in your sensibilities and be like, ah, this place looks bad. But then if you actually do what this guy did, you come inside here and it's fucking cool. Granted, this could also be a cult of some sort. Cluedo. Nice. See, I like these places. They're just like a lounge, little hangout area. This wood is all beaten to shit because it's old. These drapes or whatnot, it's cool. Yeah, I think we know their Wi-Fi password, though. And I wouldn't mind living... Yep, here we go. All right. This is a Wi-Fi... This is a big thing in Europe, I've noticed, too. These are really fancy-looking Mountain Dew bottles. Look at those. Do they have any Fanta? Maybe I don't notice it so much here in the U.S., but... One of the first things you always do when you sit down at a cafe, at least in the places in Europe I've been to... One of the first things that they always ask, at least the natives from there, they're like, what's your Wi-Fi password? Apple juice. F-O-O-F-R. Flut. Tovli. Flut tovli. And then C-A-D. That is a weird looking D. What are these? Is this ice cream sandwiches of some sort? This is what we've come to, folks. Round three. This is Russia. Akba. Which is Aqua. It's just them saying Akba. I'm not going to get anything else here. If this turns out to be like... No, it's got to be Russia because it's not RU. I'm just going to click it. I have no choice. Yeah. You tell me how I was supposed to know that this was Ulan Ude. And it's 548 points. I had a cool... A look, I was having so much fun just hanging out in this cool bar, and then the harsh reality of the game I was playing smashed its face into us and said, No, idiot. You aren't having a good time. Alright. This is bugged for some reason. This round is ruined because... Apparently this is a thing that happens in... Um, GeoGuessr, where sometimes it'll load the image you just had up and you can't do anything about it. So it doesn't matter what I choose here. I'm going to get it wrong regardless. Yeah, see, I would have really liked to have seen a photo for the Dominican Republic, but it came up as a bug and it didn't matter what I chose. I was going to get it wrong. But somehow I got 20 points. I wish I could give zero stars for that. But that happens sometimes through playing GeoGuessers. It bugs out like that. So there's no way I'm going to beat the score already for this week that I had on Monday. But even if I did get that one right, fuck me, where the hell am I now? <laughs> this is just... some. We're on dirt roads. It looks like someone was like, I'm going to... Well, I was going to say it looks like a really half-assed solar farm. But it's not. And also, oh, we're at the end of the line here, apparently. 
If you've never done it, one thing I would recommend, at least maybe it has to do with the fact of where I grew up and what I did as a kid, but one of the more fun things, well, unless someone doesn't know how to spell privés, I think that's supposed to be private. I don't think this is in America, but a th fun thing to do or I like to do as a kid. Even now, it's kind of cathartic at this point. Let's go barreling down dirt roads. Having fun. It's just fun driving down these dirt roads. You see the dust kick up behind you. It kind of feels like you're rally racing. This is really based off nothing. Okay, that sign makes me feel like we're not. I kind of feel like we're in really, really north. North Scandinavia. But I've gotten, I really don't have anything to base this off of here because this is just a fucking dirt road in the middle of the woods. And there was that photo I thought was in uh, New England turned out to be uh, um, Alabama. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at Wednesdays. I think it was Wednesdays, Christ. What is my memory? Half the video is done, and this could be Russia. This very well could be Russia. Again. Well, why'd I pan up like that? Get me down the road. I need to see houses. Give me some civilization here of some some sort. I don't think they want you going in that way. All those rocks in the ground. Well. Still don't know where, where we are. Let's uh, do the only thing we can do. Okay, what was this sign? I definitely saw a sign. Well, it just says turn right. Whatever. This is... This is a really bad round to GeoGuessr from the fact of knowing where the hell I am. Just because this could be Russia. I think it's Russia. This is a giant ass dirt road. I've not seen a language of any sorts. I've just seen woods. A couple of derelict houses. And a giant brick whatsoever. This could be Scandinavia. This could be someplace in Canada. This could be fucking, I don't know. Getting stressed, getting flummoxed here. I don't feel this is Canada. I'm going to be here. It's probably not there. I've, I've, you see me frantically going around, and I finally found a sign. Okay, that is not three, two, uh, boom. Uh, man. Now, listen to my logic here. The only reason I did what I did was because I saw that language they were using and I panicked and thought it would have been around check, but in my idiocy, noticing I only had about two or three seconds left, what I did was I clicked as close to check as I could in my panic because, again, I was panicking and I chose Romania, which was a terrible idea, but... When the only piece of information you have comes in the last three seconds of a video, or a round, I should say, you're going to do some desperate things. And this was Latvia, apparently right outside of Riga. Could have fooled me, because Jesus Christ, there was nothing. There's not even a road. Oh, I guess that's a road. Maybe I just went the wrong direction, because apparently this is some sort of town. Whatever. Ah, two stars. Yeah. That about sums it up. I did have one bug. But, what are you going to do? Sometimes that happens with GeoGuessr. Just, hopefully it doesn't happen to you. I got one country, technically two countries, right? But it's Russia. What are you going to do with the Russian ones? One was a bug. I really would have liked to see what that bug was because... I don't think I've actually seen a Dominican Republic one yet, and I wanted to know if I actually would have been able to get it. But, 
not the strongest outgoing, at least for this week. I don't know. I have to compare it to the previous weeks to see how well I'm doing, but it's another week down, folks. Uh, coming up next week, again, I'm still debating whether or not when I'm going to be putting these out, if they're going to be in the morning, if they're going to be in the Wednesday, I mean, Tuesday, Thursday, maybe Saturdays. I don't know yet. If you have a choice or a preference, let me know in the comments below. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you did enjoy this, please let me know. I am having a lot of fun doing this, and I hope you are watching me frustrate myself with a lot of these guesses. This was a tough week. If I really think about it, I didn't really have a lot of ahas compared to the I'm just guessing this is the right country. But that's you, guesser, for you. Uh, but for Evo, this is Greg. We are Hobby Fist, and we will see you next time.